prior to joining Waste Hero, I work on some of the biggest apps in Denmark. Hungry.dk, AgRanker and Boliportal. Now at Waste Hero, I'm working on building software that helps cities to deliver waste collection services efficiently and sustainably. My name is Christopher and I'm the CTO at Waste Hero. I heard about Christopher through a recruiter who spoke very well of him and highlighted him as one of the best developer in Denmark who also had experience scaling startups. I knew I wanted to get him in for an interview and uh, see if he could be a good fit for Waste Hero. After the first interview, I could see his mindset really aligned with Waste Hero's culture. Then he was the first person ever to nail our code review. Uh, immediately afterwards, I, I called our CEO and I told him that uh, he was definitely guy for the job. He came into the organization and after a few months, he was promoted to lead engineer. And now, a year down the track, he's been promoted as CTO. He's been a huge valuable asset for us since we hired him and he has really helped Waste Hero accelerate our growth as a company. It's kind of a funny story. I come from a family of healthcare workers and so I'd be sitting at family lunch and then I'd be talking about their work and it just sounded so much more meaningful than what I was doing at the time. So when I was approached by Waste Hero, I really thought this is a way I can do what I'm good at and also make a meaningful contribution to the world. I'm still working as an engineer, but I'm working on a product that is helping cities to deliver waste collection services in a much more sustainable way. I spent most of my time managing and directing the development and design team, but I'm still very much involved in coding side of things too. Developing the route planning and optimization module on our platform would be the technical project I'm most proud of. But I'd also have to say growing the development team and co-creating the structure and how we work is something that has been really fulfilling. I think the tech industry is moving at such a fast pace, so what you learn in an academic setting won't live up to what companies are expecting today. So my advice, try to do as much self-learning as you can. We got a fantastic developer at Waste Hero who is entirely self-taught. He has no for formal qualification, but he's one of our best. I think that goes to show that if you want to, there's so many raw resources that you can build your own pathway towards it. And lastly, I would like to say to anyone in an academic environment, get your foot on the door at a company as soon as possible. If that is not an option, just start building things yourself. The practical experience to be worth is so much more than your degree.